Your David Hammer investigation revealed a sexual assault indictment against St. Tammany's coroner-elect. Leaders in the parish have been taking steps against his appointment. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Cherise Gibson. And I'm Devin Bartolotta. Just before 10, after long discussions surrounding a number of other topics, the parish council took up a measure targeting Christopher Tape. Amelia Strahan has been covering this story for us tonight and has been at that meeting. Amelia, what do you have for us? Well, here in St. Tammany Parish, the message is loud and clear. The council does not want coroner elect Dr. Christopher Tape to take office. They've been discussing two different resolutions tonight, but we don't have an answer yet. The first calls for his resignation. The second would require any coroner employee to pass a background check. Tape's tainted past was revealed in a David Hammer investigation last month. Back in 2002, Tape was charged with six counts of sexual abuse against the seven year old. And two decades later, he was accused of making unwanted advances to a 26 year old woman who worked for him at his autopsy firm. Legally, there isn't anything the parish can do to make Tape resign because he's an elected official. But the author of the resolution calling for Tape's resignation says that if it comes down to it, her constituents may want an election recall. This is our way of uh, putting forth what our people want. We're asking him not to take office. And, uh, you know, if, if it's effective, um, if not, there is talk from the legislature on down in the political setting that, you know, we would proceed with a recall. And uh, uh, that's what the people want, a definite recall. And the Slidell City Council has already called for his resignation. Reporting live from St. Tammany Parish, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. Amelia, thank you. The coroner discussion was delayed for a while because of public comments surrounding two other issues. An ordinance was passed directed uh, that, excuse me, directed the number of sex offenders living under one roof. It would require those who own properties where 15% or more of the residents are sex offenders to have security and a fence on site and get a permit from the parish. According to the National Sex Offender Registry, more than 200 sex offenders live in a three mile radius of Lacombe.